Hey, this is Randy Velker with Technophobics Anonymous. I'll be your therapist today as we're doing little introductory stuff dealing with the actual computer itself. We'll be looking at the hardware of the system. We're not going to be um, training you to be an expert uh, in the hardware, but we do want you to be familiar with the computer a little bit. Uh, this is the brains of the system, and uh, there's a few things we need to know about it. Uh, this is typically what uh, the computer uh, itself looks like. Now, you'll notice here on the front of this computer, there's one primary button. This is the on-off button. Unless this button is turned on, uh, nothing is going to be happening inside uh, of the computer. The other thing that we need to concern ourselves with this computer is the CD drive or the DVD drive. Typically, there'll be one of those somewhere near the top of the computer. When this button right here is depressed or pushed in, uh, the tray will pop out. That's not a... A cup holder, a coffee holder, anything like that. It's where you're going to be putting the CD drive in or the DVD uh, disc. Excuse me, the disc in there. CD disc or the DVD disc. Um, now that CD disc or the DVD disc is what is going to have computer programs on it that you are then loading into your computer. Um, let me flip it around. Now on the back of this computer, um, there's a bunch of different plugins, places where um, cords go into. Now all of these different cords are unique. Uh, so if you pulled all the cords off, uh, you could fairly easily, through the process of elimination, go back there and plug all of them back in. Some of them go to printers, some of them go to um, the computer monitor, some of them go to uh, outlet in the wall, uh, just uh, you know for power, some of them for the mouse, for the uh, keyboard, um, so hook into the internet, um, that type of thing. But they're but they're all unique plugs, so you should be able to put them all back in. Um, <clears throat> some of them are called USB ports. Right? Those are those are important, and those are all the same. Anytime you have a peripheral, um, like a digital camera or a camcorder. Um, sometimes a microphone or even a mouse. Many of these different things can be plugged straight into a USB port and then and it doesn't matter in what order you plug them in. They're identical so you can just plug them in right next to each other. The computer will recognize what it is and uh, will start using that device. When looking at a computer in order to purchase, there's three things that we need to remember about the actual computer itself. The first one has to do with the speed of the brain or the processor inside the computer. Um, now it's measured in uh, megahertz, actually now it's measured in gigahertz. You're going to want something that's uh, 3 gigahertz, 4 gigahertz, and it doesn't really matter if you uh, know exactly what the gigahertz means, it's just the speed of the processing that takes place in there. What you need to know is you need to know the faster the better. Um, obviously, the faster the processor, the more expensive it is, so you're going to have to play some of that off. But um, if your computer um, is, um, was made within the last couple of years, if you've purchased it within the last couple of years, it, the brain will probably be fast enough to do everything that we need to do, getting you up to speed to surf the Internet proficiently. Um, the second thing we need to remember when dealing with a computer is how much memory it's called Random Access Memory, or RAM. Uh, now this is how much uh, memory a computer has and can hold in its brain simultaneously. Um, and these are measured in, right now in gigabytes. You're going to want one gigabyte at a minimum, two gigabytes preferably, uh, or on up from there would uh, sometimes be better. Um, but a minimum of uh, one gigabyte. Uh, now, and what this does, this kind of random access memory allows many different programs to be open simultaneously uh, without the computer crashing down, um, and which is very, very helpful. Um, the third thing we need to uh, be concerned about when dealing with a um, computer is the hard disk size. Um, there's a hard disk drive in here, and basically what it what it is it ha it is analogous to a, a file cabinet. 
Uh, the bigger the file cabinet, the more stuff you can store inside there. Um, you can put word processor documents, photos, movies, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but the bigger the hard drive, the better. You're going to be looking for something with um, 250 gigabytes of, of memory or storage um, would be good. Uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of uh, movies, digital video stuff, you're going to want an even bigger file cabinet because that, that kind of stuff takes a lot of space. Um, again, bigger is better. Now, all of these you're going to have to, to play off price versus, um, you know, the, the high quality that you get of either the processor speed, the how much RAM you have, or how, how much storage you have in there on the hard disk space. But those are the three things you need to concern yourself with with a computer. Um, now that you're familiar with these, uh, we'll go and look at a couple other pieces of hardware uh, that will get you up and uh, running on the internet. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Randy Velker for uh, Technophobics.